Welcome to another spherical moment. In this video, we discuss the irrationality of square root a plus square root b. The following is an established result. Let a and b be positive integers. If a and b are not both perfect squares, then square root a plus square root b is irrational. Can you figure out a proof? We start by proving a lemma. If a is a positive integer and not a perfect square, then square root a is irrational. We use proof by contradiction. Suppose square root a is rational for a contradiction. Then square root a equals m divided by n for some positive integers m and n. We may assume that this fraction is written in its simplest form, that is m and n have no common factors larger than 1. Squaring both sides, we obtain a equals m square over n square. Remembering that the right hand side is in simplest form, since a is an integer, it follows that n square equals 1. Since n is positive, n equals 1. This implies a equals m square is a perfect square, a contradiction. This completes the proof of the lemma. Now we return to our problem. Let a and b be positive integers. We need to prove that if a and b are not both perfect squares, then square root a plus square root b is irrational. We use proof by contradiction again. Suppose square root a plus square root b is rational for a contradiction. We shall split into two cases. Case 1, exactly 1 of a and b is a perfect square. Without loss of generality, we assume that a is a perfect square and b is not. Then square root a is a positive integer, which implies square root b is rational, since square root a plus square root b is rational by assumption. Here we make use of the fact that the difference of two rational numbers is rational. However, the rationality of square root b is a contradiction. By assumption, b is not a perfect square, and thus square root b is irrational by the previous lemma. This settles case 1. Case 2, both a and b are not perfect squares. Note that a minus b is rational because it is the difference of two integers. Also a minus b can be written as the product of square root a plus square root b and square root a minus square root b. So square root a minus square root b is rational because a minus b is rational, and square root a plus square root b is rational by assumption. Now, square root a is rational too, since square root a equals half multiplied by the sum of two rational numbers, namely square root a plus square root b and square root a minus square root b. Again, the rationality of square root a is a contradiction. By assumption, a is not a perfect square, and thus square root a is irrational by the previous lemma. This settles case 2 and completes the proof. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please share, like and subscribe for the latest video. Leave in comments any problems or topics you are interested in. Alternatively, you may email me. Thank you for watching.